Alexa, trigger garage door. Sending now to it. Alexa, trigger garage door. So this is the controller we're going to be using in today's demonstration. This is just a one-channel IFTTT relay controller offered by ControlAnything.com. We have a power jack there, 2.1 millimeter for power supply connection. The board needs 12 volts DC. We have three screw terminals there for connection to the relay. We're going to only be using the COM and the normally open connections of that relay. That's the board, so let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to set up your new IFTTT relay controller. If you haven't already done that, we have a video demonstrating on how to set up your IFTTT relay controller. You need to create a particle account and then you need to set up your controller for the Wi-Fi network and attach it to your particle account. Once it's attached to your particle account and it's on your Wi-Fi network, you should have a breathing cyan LED on the photon module. That indicates that the controller is connected to the cloud and is ready to be used. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to set up our IFTTT recipe. But right before we do that, we need to set up the channels used in this application. On IFTTT.com, you'll see a channels indicator up here. You should also note that you need to create an IFTTT account and then sign into that account. So we'll click on channels up here at the top. And here we can search all the different channels that IFTTT has available. Today we're going to be using the Amazon Alexa channel and the Particle Photon channel. So the first thing we need to do is set up that Alexa channel. So click here and search channels and just start typing Alexa. You should see Amazon Alexa, US only. I've already connected my channel, but you, if you haven't already connected the channel, you'll need to do that. I should also note, of course, for this application, you're going to need an Amazon Echo. Your Echo is also going to need to be connected to your Amazon account. So, go ahead and connect IFTTT to the channel. It's extremely simple. Once you get here, it'll have a connect button. You click that, then just follow the prompts. The next channel that we need to have connected is the particle channel. That's going to allow us to communicate to the relay controller. So in search channels, start typing particle. And you'll see it pops up here. You click on that channel, and then you'll connect that channel. Mine's already connected, so it gives me a disconnect option here. You'll have a connect button right here. Just simply click that button and follow the prompts. All you'll have to do is enter your particle account credentials and you're set to go. So once you have the particle and the Alexa channel connected, we're ready to actually create a recipe. So we'll click on My Recipes up here at the top. And then we'll click on Create a Recipe. IFTTT is going to walk you through this step by step and basically spoon feed you through the process. So the first thing we need to do is we need to click on the big blue this text on the page. Now we need to choose a trigger channel. This is going to be the channel that actually triggers this recipe to run. So if we want to say Alexa trigger garage door, we probably want Alexa to be the trigger channel to start everything. So you can click up here and search channels and just start typing Alexa. Once it pops up, click to select it. Now there's several different um, triggers that can be used to uh, trigger a recipe through Alexa. But we're going to use the simplest and most common one, which is say a phrase. So we'll click on that. And if you see here, it says this trigger fires every time you say Alexa trigger plus the phrase that you have defined. So we're always going to need to say Alexa trigger in order to actually trigger the uh, recipe. 
So what I'm going to set it up as is Alexa trigger garage door. So we'll go ahead and click on that trigger. And then here we're just going to enter garage door. Now keep in mind we still need to say Alexa trigger garage door. So now click create trigger. Now we want to bring in the that part of the recipe. This is what happens whenever we say Alexa trigger garage door. Of course, we want that to open the garage door. So we'll click on that. Now we know that we need to trigger a relay on the particle relay board. So we'll just start typing in the particle channel and it'll pop up. Now we have to tell the particle module what to do. We want to call a function. So we'll select that. And here it's going to uh, ask you which function you want to call. So you'll click this drop down box. You'll see that I have a ridiculously long list of devices and functions. This is because I have several particle photon modules on my particle account. The board that I have connected to the garage door is Travis-7. That module only has one function, which is control relay. This is what you're going to see. You're going to see control relay on and then whatever you name the relay board to. So we want to select that. Now we need to give that function an input. This one channel relay controller really only has four functions. On, off, toggle, and momentary. On and off are pretty uh, cut and dry. They're going to turn the relay on or off. Toggle is going to reverse the current state of the relay. Momentary is going to turn on the relay, then wait 300 milliseconds, then turn the relay off. Now that's very good for things like garage doors where you just need to make a momentary closure on the garage door opener to start the operation. So we're going to use momentary. And then we're going to click create action. Now here we can give the recipe a title. We'll just say Alexa open garage door. You can put whatever you want in there. This is just a title for the recipe so that you can uh, determine what this recipe is. And then just click create recipe. That is absolutely all there is to the IFTTT recipe setup. You're ready to go wire your relay controller to your garage door. So here you can kind of get a feel for how everything's wired up. So most garage door op openers operate much the same way. They have two wires coming out of them that when connected together will actually operate the garage door opener. This is how the button in your garage is wired to the opener. So all we have to do is take that pair of wires and connect them to the common and the normally open terminals clearly labeled on the relay board. Then the relay board simply needs power. The handy thing is, is that most garage door openers are plugged into an outlet directly overhead. And we can simply plug in a power supply in that location. So this is the power supply for my relay controller. And then the cable from it simply runs and connects into the barrel jack on the controller. You'll see here that I have a breathing cyan LED on the photon module. This indicates that the controller is connected to the cloud and has a valid internet connection. 